Perhaps one of the most irritating bugs in Geometry Dash is the invisible duel bug. You play a level in practice mode for a while, and when you go to play in normal mode, your second icon is suddenly gone. All you can see is the trail, it's impossible to play, and you have to re-enter the level to make it go away. In this video, I'll explain exactly why this happens, and how to fix it. To explain why this happens, we first have to consider two animations of icons. When you respawn in a level, your icon will blink in and out four times in 0.4 seconds, and then show itself. When you exit a duel, the second icon will fade out, move to the left, shrink, and rotate in 0.4 seconds. If the respawn animation is happening, it will be stopped. The problem here is that the respawn animation is stopped when exiting a duel. If the respawn animation is stopped when it has toggled the icon off, it will stay off until another animation toggles it on again. One interesting thing to note is that this visual bug can be fixed by activating a hide player trigger and then a show player trigger in a level. So how can we fix this? If we had the source code for Geometry Dash, we could add a line to set the visibility of an icon after a player enters a duel. We do not have the source code, but we can replicate this quite easily with a method called function hooking. We know the location of the function that is called when we enter a duel, so we can override some of the original function and take control of the application. We can then set the visibility of the icon, execute the original code that we overwrote, and pass control flow back to the original code. And here's the result. So I'm going to try and recreate the invisible dual bug, and after we're going to turn on this mega hack extension that I wrote to fix this and see what happens. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put a checkpoint down next to a merge portal and restart or die. It won't work every time, but a lot of the time you'll get this invisible icon. Oh. And you can see the icon is invisible. And the reason why this happens is because the blink animation was truncated when the icon was toggled off. Uh, you can see here that this hide show player trigger actually fixed it, but obviously that's not really a good fix. Uh, I'll restart a couple times to show that this bug is consistent. There it is. There it is again. And now we're going to try and turn on the extension and see if it fixes the bug. And you can see it worked perfectly. Along with the hide player triggers, which I thought wouldn't work because of the fact that set visible I thought would override it, but it seems like Rob handled it nicely for us. Uh, and yeah, it works. It works great. So yeah, another bug down. If you want to see more quality of life patches for Geometry Dash, make sure to subscribe. And please leave some suggestions for other bugs you'd like to see me fix. I'm already running out of ideas, even though this is the second video. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video, and have a good day.